Alright, so we'll start off by making a new blueprint interface. I'm going to name this Interact Interface. Open that up. Name this Interact. Save that. Close that. Now we're going to make a new blueprint class actor. It's going to be the health pickup. Open that. I'm going to add a static mesh here. I'm going to use a first aid kit. And then I'm going to rotate it and readjust it a little bit. And then you want to add a box collision. I'm going to change the size of this here. Save that, go to the class settings and add a new interface. Search for your interact interface. Save that. Go into your event graph. Double click the interact. And now go into your character blueprint and add a new variable for health pickups. Change it to an integer. Save that and then add new event dispatcher for on health picked up. Make a new custom event for update health pickups. And then call your event dispatcher there. Save that. Close that. And back in your health pickup here, you get your player character. Cast to your BP third person character. Right click and promote to a variable. Get your character out. Then you want to get your health pickup. Do a plus plus. Plug that in. Then from your character, you want to set your health pickups again. Plug that in. And from your character, you want to update your health pickups. Next, we're going to play a sound at location if you want. You can get actor location for the location. Then you can destroy the actor. And that's it for in here. Save that. Close that. Now we're going to make a new user interface widget blueprint for your health pickups. Open that up and add a canvas panel. Then I'm going to add a horizontal box. I'm going to anchor it to the top and adjust the location. Then I'm going to get a border. I'm going to wrap that border with an overlay. Stretch it out. Then I'm going to add a piece of text to the horizontal box with fill on both. Change that to zero. Then you want to tick is variable. I'm going to put this as number of health pickups. Then I'm going to select my border here. I'm going to change the color and then duplicate it. Add some padding to one of them, change the color, and then I'm going to put it on top here. I'm going to add a piece of text to the inside of that border. I'm going to center it, change the size of the text, and I'm going to add a plus here, just like a little med kit. And I'm going to change the color of that as well. Compile, save that. Go into the event graph. Get your player character, cast to your BP third person character, right click and promote to a variable, then you want to get your character, get your text, from your text you can set your text, plug that in, from your character get your health pickups and plug that in, now you want to get your character, bind event to on health picked up, plug that in. From the event, you want to make a custom event. I'm going to name this update. Then you can copy all this and paste it down here. Plug that in. Save that. Close that. And then you want to make a new user interface widget blueprint. This is going to be the interact button. It's just going to be a canvas panel with a border in the center. I'm going to change the size of this. 
I'm gonna change the color here. And then I'm gonna right click and wrap with an overlay. Stretch that out and then duplicate the border. Add some padding here. And then change the color. Then we're gonna get a piece of text and put that in the center of this border. I'm just going to put an F here, because that's the key I'm going to use for my interact. Change the color of that, save that, that's all you need for in here. Now open your health pickup, go to your box collision and on component begin overlap. I'm going to get an equals to your player character, into a branch. Then we're going to go to our static mesh here and we're going to add a widget I'm going to raise this above it select the interact widget and set it to screen then search for visible and uncheck this save that go back into the event graph and get your widget drag from there and set visibility check it to true then click your box collision and get the on component end overlap and then you can go equals player character into a branch and get your widget set the visibility on true and we're going to set it to false then you can go in your world here place a few of them down Save that, test this part out, make sure that's all popping up and disappearing. Then go into your project settings, into your input, add new action mapping for interact. I'm going to use the F key. Then add another action mapping. This one's going to be to use the health pickups. I'm going to use B. Then open your player character and search for that interact event. Then you want to get your overlapping actors. Select actor. Go from here and do for each loop with break. Plug that into press. Then you want to get a branch. Plug that in. From here you want to get your does implement interface and search for your interact interface. Plug that into the branch. And then from the array again, you want to get the interact message, plug that into the true. Then from the end of the interact, you want to plug that into the break. You can double click the line to get these little nodes here. And now you want to save that. And then test that out, make sure that's working. So when you go up to them, you can press your interact and they'll disappear and play sound. Then we're going to get a use health pickup event. And at the start here, we're going to get our, a branch and our health pickups and see if it's greater than zero into the branch. Then we're going to get another branch from the true. Get your health. And see if it's less than one. Then you want to get your health pickups again. Then we're going to do a minus minus into the true. And then you want to grab your health pickups and set it. Plug this in. Then you want to get your update health pickups. Then you want to get your health. Add. I'm going to do 0 0.2. Get a clamp float. With your max health as the max. Then you want to set your health. After this, you want to update your health. And then you can go from here and play a sound if you want. Get actor location as location. And then you want to get your begin play if you don't already have one. 
I have a sequence here because I'm already doing something else. So then you can drag and create your widget, get your player controller, select your widget, and then drag from here and add to viewport. Compile, save that, close that, test it out. Now when you pick them up, it'll update on screen. And then I can lower my health with G here. And when my health is lowered, I can use B to use a health kit. Thanks for watching.